Yo, what's up guys? Foxy here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Before the video even starts, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone that let me use their account or sent me some gameplay for this video. It wouldn't be possible without you guys and all the creators that are in this video that I shout out or whatever. All their links will be down in the description below, so make sure you guys go subscribe to all of them if they do have a YouTube or Twitch or whatever. So big shout out to Willie Nordwrench, Ghost619, Shash, Joey, Dismo, Newbie Gaming, and Tasty. Thank you all so much, guys. I hope you all do enjoy this video, and here is the final camo in every single Call of Duty. Alright, what is going on YouTube? Fox here, welcome to you guys today with a brand new video, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at the final camo in every Call of Duty, so I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, and without further ado, let's go, bros. Okay, so the first Call of Duty game that we have is Call of Duty 4. And the final camo in Call of Duty 4 is gold camo, but it's only for a couple guns. I'd say it's about like five or six guns. Big shout out to Ghost for sending me some footage of this. You guys can see the mini Uzi and the Desert Eagle. Let's hop right in to Modern Warfare 2. Holy crap, we got in a game of Modern Warfare 2 at 11.30 in the morning. So, Modern Warfare 2 has a final camo in the game, and it's called the Fall Camo. Love you dead. Sorry, sir. I love Fall Camo. Fall Camo was such a grind back in the day. If you guys thought that the camos in Modern Warfare 2019 were a grind, you guys have no idea what it was like to play Modern Warfare 2 back in the day, and just with all the camos. And there was no, like quote-unquote final camo in Modern Warfare 2, it was just the fall camo. And fall camo was so awesome back in the day, man. Uh, I remember grinding for these, and I, then I also remember getting in the 10th Prestige Lobby and getting the camos that way. But it's all good! Like, no, <laughs> don't get it twisted! You know, that's what that... What? I just spawned in front of him. Damn, I thought the spawns on Modern Warfare 2019 were bad. A lot of people ask me whenever I stream Modern Warfare 2, whenever I play Modern Warfare 2, they're all like, why are your class names like different colors and stuff like that? Because obviously, like, they're all a bunch of colors. Uh, it's because I got in the 10th Prestige Lobby back in Modern Warfare 2. A friend of mine in high school, uh, shout out to Tyler. He he got me in a 10th Prestige Lobby and everything, so <laughs> big shout out to him. And I'm actually, like, so surprised I found a game in Modern Warfare 2 at this time. It's 11.30 in the morning on the East Coast, and normally I can't find a game in Modern Warfare 2 around this time. Like, it's so hard to come by, and we're using my favorite gun, the ACR. God, I love the gun sound of the ACR in this game. That's a guy all the way down there. Oh, I missed all my shots. Painkiller, come on! Painkiller, noob. Pretty sure in order to get fall camo for every gun in, the, in in this game, you had to get 250 headshots with that specific weapon. Modern Warfare 2 is so good, man. Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite Call of Duty, and we're looking at all the Call of Duties today. This is gonna be a trip, man. If you guys want me to do any other evolution videos, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to do other evolution videos. I've done them in the past, but uh, I don't want to like kind of repeat that kind of content always. I haven't done a final camo in every Call of Duty video. I've done Dark Matter and I've done Gold and. I've done diamond, I've done blue tiger and red tiger and woodland, I believe. Yeah. But if you guys want me to do any other camo videos or any other evolution camo videos, let me know down in the comments. I'm more Double willing to kill. do them. It's two guys. You gotta be kidding me. Guys, let me know down in the comments. What's your favorite camo in Modern Warfare 2? If you and let me know if you guys played Modern Warfare 2 in its prime. Because I did. I was one of those lucky ones that got to play Modern Warfare 2 during its prime. Same with like Halo 3 and Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3, all that good stuff, man. Double kill. Oh, that's nice two piece, come on. What the fuck? <laughs> did y'all see that? Did y'all see that guy go flying, dude? Alright. Let's hop in to some Black Ops 1. Next up, we have Call of Duty Black Ops or Call of Duty Black Ops 1. And the final camo in Call of Duty Black Ops is gold camo. I think this is the best gold camo in any Call of Duty, period. There's no debate about it. And a huge shout out to my man Ghost for getting some film for me. Let's hop right in to some Modern Warfare 3. All right. We're all Modern Warfare 3. We have the ACR. I know, I know. And honestly, like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I wasn't gonna use the ACR. I wanted to use the MP7 at first. And then I realized that I don't have uh, gold camo for the MP7. And I'm at, like, level 30. And it's taking forever for me to level the gun up. So I was just like, screw it. We'll use the ACR. Gold camo is the final camo in this game. And this lobby is actually full of campers. And I'm really not liking it. Like 
Here's another guy. Come on. That's a guy right there. I'm dead. Okay, so this counts as a kill. Oh god. Oh, they're spawning on both sides of us now. God damn it, bro. I was in the middle of the map. That sucks. So, gold camo. This is probably one of my favorite gold camos. I, I honestly, Modern Warfare 2019's gold camo is really, really nice, too. You never know. You never know in this game. There's people who could be camping all over the place. Oh, oh. <coughs> a lot of people don't like Modern Warfare 3. Don't know why. There might be a guy up here, but I'm, I'm not really sure. Let's go up here. Scope out the place. And we got someone sitting in a corner. Dude, this lobby, I've been playing for like two games now. This is my third. And this lobby has been filled with kids who play like this game is Modern Warfare 2019. That's what this lobby has been. It's been the most ridiculous thing I've ever encountered in my life. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm actually, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for people to kind of walk through because I know that's what's gonna happen because I know that they're sitting on the other side of the airport waiting for me to walk through this 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 passageway they're all just like sitting down there no one's walking back this way I guess the riot shield guy gave up watch I'm gonna peep my head and I'm gonna see oh no one oh, okay all right I guess it, I guess it, I guess it's good to walk this way I, I guess we're all good Watch, as soon as I start walking this way, there's gonna be a guy- Yup! Yup, there he is! He's a DUDE! WHAT?! I KNEW SOMEONE WAS OVER THERE, MAN! That's such shit! That's pitiful. I mean, it's absolutely pitiful. Guys, let me know down in the comments, what's your favorite gold camo in any Call of Duty? We got our MSMC here, and the final camo in this game is diamond camo, which is pretty cool. This is the first time we ever saw diamond camo in a Call of Duty, so, you know, I figured we would show it off a bit. He's dead. Battery Shut go. Up. Okay. Sniper down. Coming off, stand by. Hell no. Okay, yeah, because that makes total sense. That's a kill. Is it just me by myself now? Pretty sure it is. Yeah, it is. All right, so I figured we would switch guns because I think diamond camo looks really, really nice on the M8A1. Yeah, uh, this is not a map I'm, I'm gonna use the MSMC on. So, let's see here, we're gonna check in here. Nope, nobody's in here. Jump over here, nope. Nope, no one's in here. We, okay, so we spawned back there. It's one guy. Get turned on. It's two guys. Wow. I should have killed him. That that sucks. That sucks balls. Black Ops 2 was voted the fan favorite Call of Duty of the decade between 20, uh, 2010 and 2019, which is like crazy to think about. How, 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 how? Dude, there's no way. I was gonna say, bro, like, how does someone survive all that? I miss maps like these, man. Maps that we actually, like, enjoyed to play. I know, like, this is not a fan favorite map in Black Ops 2, at least in my opinion. But it's one of the, it's, it's still better than the maps that we have now. And honestly, you could probably put this map in, uh, hold up, in Modern Warfare 2019. And people would make it super campy. And I don't want you guys thinking I'm sitting here bashing Modern Warfare 2019 in every single classic game that I play. I'm just pointing out facts. This is Call of Booty Ghosts, and this is Gold Camo in Call of Booty Ghosts. I think it's a little weird how Call of Duty Ghosts didn't have a final camo like Diamond, very similar to how BO2 had Diamond. But, you know, Infinity Ward wanted to do their own thing. Big shout out to Ghost for getting me some film for this. Let's hop right into the first jetpack Call of Booty. Advanced Warfare. Alright, so I gotta give a huge shout out to my man Shesh for letting me use his account because without him I wouldn't be able to make this video and or, or use this uh, royalty camo in Advanced Warfare and yeah, so thank you so much to Shesh uh, for letting me use your account, bro. You are a GOAT. 
Oh my, oh my goodness. Royalty is the final camo in Advanced Warfare, obviously, as I've stated previously, but there's kind of two versions of royalty, if you ask me, and this is one of them. This is the final camo that you unlock for each gun. It looks pretty nice, looks pretty sweet, but there's also a royalty variant for each gun. It's like a... It's like a really, really nice variant or whatever. Oh my goodness, nice three-piece there, buddy. We're using the ball, or the bow, the best gun in the game, obviously. They're all in there. We're gonna shoot that right there. That's one. I don't know if it's a legendary or whatever it is, because I didn't play Advanced Warfare in its prime. But it's a really rare variant. We're gonna use the ASM-1, and it's pretty much the royalty camo, but it's purple, so that's pretty cool. I can't remember if this goes up to 100. I think it goes up to 100. One guy, there's two. I'm not really a big fan of the jetpack games. I've said this before and I'll say it again. Not a big fan of them. We're gonna switch this up when we get to 50 because the bow or the ball, whatever, you know, I call it the ball, but, or the BAL, whatever you wanna call it. It's just absolutely legendary. It's like one of the best guns in any Call of Duty ever. There we go. I don't know, this game makes me nauseous. It makes me sick. Oh man, he just got destroyed. What's up there, buddy? There's a guy right there. Hold on. I don't think either one of them knew I came in. Oh. Another guy. I, I wanted to use the other gun, but if I don't die, like, you know. Nope, he just got destroyed. What? All right, and then we have the ASM-1, and this is royalty camo, but it's purple. Yeah, I think this is a variant. I'm pretty sure this is a variant. Hit detection is a little wonky. It's all good though. Oh my goodness. I just got blasted by this laser beam. I actually like this purple one. I think purple should have been the final one. I like gold and all that stuff, but there's already a gold camo. So there's really no reason for the royalty camo to be gold as well. I just feel like purple would have been like a lot better, but they kept it for the variants, which is, which is cool, I guess, you know? We're on Call of Booty Black Ops 3. And I got to give a big shout out to my man Dizmo or Dismo. For letting me use his account thank you so much bro i appreciate you so much and this is the final camo in black ops 3 dark matter dark matter is like one of the first camos that really just kind of came into fruition like yo this camo is like fucking insane and this is how we're gonna do final camos from now on they're gonna be insanely awesome and just completely opposite of everything like that people knew and when i say like the opposite of what people knew i mean like it's not just diamond it's not just um you know, it's... it's wow. Not it's not just your typical diamond or your typical gold. Dark Matter literally changed the way that developers thought about, like, final camos and stuff like that in Call of Duty games. And that's saying something. Oh, that's a guy all the way in that building over there. It's super weird not being able to stem shot. Now, see, I didn't play Black Ops 3, so uh, I, I don't have Dark Matter, unfortunately. And we're using the XMC, and the XMC is, like, the best gun in this game, even though, like... It's a DLC weapon, but the DLC system in Black Ops 3 is atrocious. Uh, <laughs> as far as, like, DLC weapons goes, it's fucking garbo. It's garbage. But I will say that the one thing that I cannot stand about Black Ops 3 is the specialist. I'm not really a big fan of specialist. I'm not a big fan of specialist, payloads, whatever you want to call them, because, you know, they were, they were specialists in, uh... Infinite Warfare. They were just under like a different name or whatever. And I'm just not a fan of it. Not a fan of it. I don't I don't like people getting free kills because of their like special ability and stuff like that. Infantry neutralized. Infantry neutralized. There we go. And I'd rather rely on my gun skill or you know if the and, like I see I don't mind OP guns, but when people get like cheap kills and stuff like that because like because of certain stuff. Oh my god. I keep trying to slide. There we go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I don't think we're gonna get the win. Uh, is he trying to do a trick shot for the last kill? Oh my. See, my movement isn't that great on this game because I'm not a jetpacker. I really like the old school Call of Duty games, to be honest. I'm, I'm not that big of a jetpacker, but I will say that Black Ops 3 is definitely fun. Black Ops 3 is super fun. Oh, we got a VSAT or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, what would you call it in this game? Wow. Yeah, he knew he was a he knew he was about to lose. Okay, we're going live in three, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, three, two, one, one, two, three, 
I'm still kind of nasty. Okay, yeah, that's cool. We are on infinite warfare now. And let me just say this. So we have the solar camo. And I know this is not the final, final camo in this game. But it's the camo that you get when you earn all the camos for all the non-classic weapons in this game so i feel like that's pretty self-explanatory and then after you get all the classic weapons gold and diamond then you unlock black sky and black sky will be the final camo that we look at in infinite warfare now technically black sky is the final camo in this game but i feel like we should look at solar as well <laughs> i just feel like you know for the people that really didn't go for black sky you know we, we should look at it Let's see is there anyone in here we're using the k-bar one of my favorite weapons in the game if not my favorite weapon in this game no recoil i gotta give a huge shout out to my man joey he is an awesome guy and he let me use his account for this video so thank you so much bro he looks at uh cod glitches and things like that just trying to like kind of break the game and stuff like that which is kind of cool if you ask me you know everyone's using the models that, that's all i've seen to run into now you know i i think we did a video a while back and it was it was one of the evolution videos. I think it was like the AK-47 in every Call of Duty. If you guys haven't checked that out, make sure you guys go do so. I think I, I we did that, and I ran into this game where every single person in Free For All was using the models. It was insane. I always say the Infinite Warfare came out at the wrong time. Oh my god, the models. Wow, all of them were running over there. Alright, now we have Black Sky. And honestly, I like Black Sky more than it, uh, Dark Matter, honestly. I think Black Sky is really cool. I really like how there's white in this. And it's just, I don't know, it, it's a lot better in my opinion. Double kill. Oh shit, he's got the models. Watch out. Nope. All right, here we go. Now, now we're playing a little bit better. <laughs> I was worried, man. Like I, I, I saw all those guys over there. Killing spree. We got UAV. I'm not really a jetpacker, like I've said before. I think I've said that probably in every single jetpack game I've played, to be honest. There's the, uh, there's the ride shield guy. Or not the ride shield guy, the, the models guy. Double kill. Triple kill. Oh man, we're just kind of going off now. Oh, okay. Okay. No, dude. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> Yo, all right. So we're on Modern Warfare Remastered. And we're using Exclusion Zone. This is my favorite camo of all time. This camo is so, so good. You know what? Modern Warfare Remastered has a special place in my heart. I truly, truly enjoyed this game so much. I really did. I, I love this game. This game, I had so much fun playing this game in its prime, you know, if you want to consider it a prime. But this is Exclusion Zone, and I think Exclusion Zone is one of the best camos to ever be released in a Call of Duty game. Okay, we need one more kill for a helichopter. There we go. A helichopter ready for order. You know, I was, I was, I'm looking at the lobby that I'm in right now, and I'm like, wow, there's a lot of low levels. And it got me thinking, so this is where all the Christmas noobs are. All the Christmas noobs for Call of Duty are in all the old COD games. But yeah, Exclusion Zone, when I first saw this camera, I was like, holy crap, dude. This black and lime green or like bright green color, man. This is so awesome, and it's so badass. It reminds me a lot of the Paranorman foam posits. If you're a shoe head or a sneaker head or whatever, you guys know exactly what those are. And yes, I'm using the M16 right now because, you know, why why would I, why would I not? I mean, like, this is Modern Warfare Remastered. I'm gonna use the M16 and I'm gonna be a I'm gonna be a swipe real quick. And there's another one. Is that another helicopter? No, no, it's not. There we go. There's another helichopter. There we go. We got two helichopters. Look at that. I mean, it's easy when, like, you're just head glitching with a one burst M16 behind a car. So, <laughs> all right. Let's hop into some Black Ops. No, World War II. World War II. Sorry. We are on Call of Duty World War II. I got to give a huge shout out to my man, Newbie Gamer. Or Newbie Gaming. Sorry. His link will be down in the description. He's awesome because he's got Chrome Tiger and I don't. And not many people have it. So, for those of you that didn't play Call of Duty World War II, there are technically two final camos in this game and he's a bot there are two final camos in this game i don't care what anybody says there's two you can't say that there's more you can't say that there's only one because technically at the beginning of this game's life cycle there was only one and it was chrome and chrome is just like kind of god awful so they added chrome tiger at the end of the i mean not really at the end but like near the end of the game's life cycle pretty much 
get destroyed by my Volkstorm giving. So we're gonna use both in this video. Do they have us trapped right now? No, screw this dude. Didn't get him. Okay, I'm just, yeah. Nope, there's two, there we go. We're lagging like crazy, holy crap. Oh yeah, I forgot to say this already, but we're on the goo, the goo, the goo, stop cannon. All right, and now we have Chrome Tiger. And Chrome Tiger's pretty dope, but the problem with Chrome Tiger is that there's also a Master Prestige camo that looks exactly like this, but the Master Prestige camo is animated. So it automatically makes it so much better than Chrome Tiger, you know? So that's the problem I have with Chrome Tiger because yeah. Okay, yeah, you're dead now. Sorry, dude. I actually didn't toss that in there, and it didn't even look like it got tossed in there. Okay. Recon flight concluded. There we go. Nice two-piece. There we go. Three-piece. Thank you. STG is fucking amazing. Uh, in order to get Chrome Tiger, you had to get Gold Leopard and Gold Tiger, I think. I think I think Gold Tiger is one of them. It's something. So I mean, like that's cool. How you there's like multiple like final camos. I was gonna include the leopard camo, but I was just kind of like, and eh, nah, there's like really no point. All right, and now we're on Call of Booty Black Ops Four. Holy crap! Okay, and we have the Swordfish, and we are using the Dark Matter camo in Black Ops 4. And it's pretty insane. Like, I, I think that the Dark Matter in Black Ops 4 is one of the best we've ever seen. Um, I know that there's only been a couple iterations of the Dark Matter camo, but this, this camo is awesome. I love the spikes that come out of it. I think it's really, really awesome. And the Sword Fist is just overpowered. I was trying to figure out which gun I wanted to use. I, I gotta, I gotta pick one that has you know that shows all the camo all right and now we can see that it turns orange that dark matter went through a bunch of iterations during black ops 4 uh there was like a lot of different versions of it and things like that but i don't know what that guy's doing oh my goodness man the swordfish destroys bro it destroys I had one shot left. Let's see, 15 and 12. Damn it, dude, you know. Thank God. Thank you. There's so many people over here, why? Yeah, we're, we're kind of just like going off right now. Why are you crouching? Nope. Oh my God, he killed me. Aim's on point right now. Not too shabby, not too bad. I loved playing free for all in this game. That's that's what kept me playing Black Ops 4 at the end of its life cycle was free for all and uh, using the strife. We can see that the camo is still turning colors right now. At the beginning of this game's life cycle, dark matter was determined by how many kills you got in a row without dying. So if you got a nuclear in Black Ops 4, then you ended up getting the final tier of dark matter, which was like classic dark matter with spikes on it. And I thought that was such a cool concept. And then they changed it like a month after people started kind of getting dark matter and people were kind of just like complaining that, you know, oh, like we can't get the final tier because, you know, it's hard to go on streaks and things like that. So they changed it and they did the same thing with diamond camo as well. Now, I, I didn't really like the change. I didn't get a nuclear. I almost did, but I didn't get a nuclear. And even though it was like super tough in order to like get a nuclear with you know with dark matter and things like that it's just hard to get a nuclear in general but it was just oh my goodness if you guys remember last year when i did that uh dark matter video and i was on a 28 gun streak and i turned my head for a second and died to someone dude i was just livid i was so livid oh my goodness i was so so livid that i died and i was literally two kills away two kills away I'm pretty sure we're one kill off the Dark Matter now. I can't remember though. It doesn't, I don't think so. Unless they changed it again. I just can't remember. I haven't played this game in a while actually. <laughs> there we go. And look at that. Dark Matter, the final tier. All right. And then the final camo in Call of Booty. Modern Warfare is the Damascus camo. And honestly, this is one of my favorites. I'll be real with you guys. It is definitely one of my favorites. We're using the M4A1 because, you know, why not? Double kill. Nope. Two piece. Triple Three kill. piece. Thank you. Chicken McNugget. Can we get a fourth? Oh my God. No fucking way, dude. There we go. You're dead. 
Dunzo Bunzo. Nope. Come on. Oh wow, that's like three guys in there. Holy shit. There's a guy right there. Try to run up top. No, dude, there's a guy waiting back there. Come on. Move around the map. Is anyone? Yep, he's sitting in the corner like a little bastard. What are you doing? Come on, we gotta make our way in there. Come on, let's go. Get out of there, bro. Hello there. You've got to be fucking kidding me, dude. Okay, there we go. Holy crap. Where are my teammates? Come on, man. I'm trying. This is ridiculous. None of my teammates are pushing. They're all standing over here waiting for people to walk out. But no one's walking out because this game is so campy. Goodbye. You've got to be kidding me, bro. I just I just hope that one day all these little campers, they just get what they're in for. They, they get what's coming to them. Oh, 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 so we're being dominated now. Nope, come on. I got you. I got your back. Come on. Someone secure A. I got your back. Come on. Come on. I got you. I got you. I got you. Let's go, man. No. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, man. Come on. We, we got this. Come on. There we go. There's another one. Guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy every final camo in Call of Duty history. If you guys want to see me do more of these kind of videos, you know, I've done gold camo in every Call of Duty already. I did that like a like last year or something like that. If you guys want an updated version, we could we could do that. I could do that for sure, you know. I, I don't really like doing that kind of like repetitive content because it's like the same video. But at the same time, you know, if you guys want it, I can give it to you. I, I, have, I have no problem pleasing the, the, pleasing the subs, pleasing the pack, you know. Glad I heard footsteps. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Come on.